You know, our, our great painting is Guernica, which is a very painful canvas. Picasso. Yeah. Theodore Rathke uh, was dying to count himself among the happy poets. And I, I, I think of the end of Auden, September 1st, 1939, in which he yearns to show an affirming flame. I, I, it's, does art, uh, I, I hate to talk about the responsibility of the artist, but does art in the end mean some kind of human affirmation? Does it have to? Is that part and parcel of it? Oh. I'm incredibly doubtful. Oh, I do think about Samuel Beckett. Yeah. A mind is so dark that it makes you wonder if the Renaissance really took place. The, you know, the incredible outburst that we have in Cervantes and Shakespeare. Mm. People in the north, the Italians. Very dumb. You managed in homage to Mistress Bradstreet, and subsequent to that, a wonderfully alive syntax and diction. Uh, Dutch comes out creating the language of that poem. It's such a superb language. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm glad. Uh, uh, everything is an experiment, I think. Uh, I saw I was taking chances all the time at that point. I had to get a language that was not hurt. But not mine. But would not be pastiche. You know, like uh, Johnson's, Ben Johnson's projection of Spencer. Yes. He wrote no language. I didn't want to hear that. Uh, I think there's no doubt that sometimes I certainly succeed. Uh, for example, I'll tell you a line I think is very good. Uh, it was about uh, uh, Cher point. I was staying with Robert and Sally Fitzgerald in Connecticut. And uh, I had uh, uh, a, 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 a set of ration for myself, a one stanza a day and no more. And I had a glass in bit. Uh, and I would put uh, the draft of the stanza, uh, based on five years' notes and reflection, behind the glass in, so I couldn't make notes on it. It's study. And uh, uh, Sally uh, would be making dinner, and I would come in from the other house, and Robert would come back from teaching. And then we'd go with the scent. And I couldn't get one line right. And I drafted and drafted. And I would take the new version of the line. It's uh, about one of the children's uh, teeth. And I couldn't get it right. I would take it out to Sally in the kitchen, bending over the refrigerator or stove, and reading a read the new version of the line. Seven in a stanza. Anyway, um, dissatisfied. So I go back in the living room. Sweat some more. At last, she was satisfied. And the result is so simple. It's not her 70th century language. Imposing my Or my dogmatic. 20th century language. It goes like this. If it's that loose, 
ละมีเวกุมานะอยู่แก่เป็นอะไรเนี่ย Right. Oh. But, but I was incredibly lucky. So I uh, kept on him, Jay. So I don't know if I. I think uh, all these problems in art are real problems. There exists solutions. I have no idea whether that is the correct or best solution. What is one? That's that's the poem too. You you began your mastery of the pronoun, the shifting pronoun, which which came to greatness, I think, in the dream songs where you you change person. Yes, yeah, I'm very good at pronouns. Hmm. Hmm. You're one of the the few poets. Uh, That has driven himself into a long poem. Look, sometimes Henry in the Dream Song speaks for you, and at one sometimes anyway, maybe <laughs> most of the time. At one point he says, "Everybody in the world is happy except the guy who has to write a long poem." And yet mm -hmm. we had indications as early as the sonnet sequence, although it's not one poem, but with Mistress Bradstreet, and then with the eleven years of the Dream Songs. If it's, if it, it, have you asked yourself why you felt driven toward writing the long poem? Um, You're coming back to short poems now, by the way, too. Now I'm right. But why poems, that yeah. terrific impulse for the? Paul was trying to tell you it's impossible, and yet you've always been driven toward it. Well, my foot is killing me. Take off my shoe. Uh. That'll censor us, probably, but that's uh, all right. <laughs> uh, Whitman agreed with Bob. Uh, he says, uh, I had uh, often thought and felt the same thing, uh, but uh, Poe summed Bob. Are impossible. They cannot exist. Song of myself is sixty pages. He did not think of it as a work of literature. He thought of it as a man. Yeah. The body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The living thing. What is the relation between your dream song as a sequence, uh, a sonnet sequence, which you also wrote, and something like Ezra Pound's Cantos, which is a sequence? Are there s um, well, as you put the question, I can't answer it. Uh, I don't know what the relation is between the sonnets and the dream song. Uh, as Pound's Cantos, uh, I am on record as a pulling. Of the effort, uh, but in general, I think Pan has been wasting his time for the year. No, I just uh, a kind of is a great masterpiece, and there are wonderful things in the other early candles. Uh, then, for many many years, we have junk. Then we get the beaten candle. Then, for many, many years, we get to.